Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you, as the title says, how to get a minimap in Minecraft 1.15.1. We're going to be going over every single step of getting a minimap for Minecraft 1.15.1. And the minimap we're going to be getting specifically is Voxel Minimap, a pretty old school minimap in my opinion. By no means not the most popular minimap of all time. That would be Journey Map, of course, but... Still very solid, allows you to set waypoints and see mobs and do all kinds of awesome things. So we're going to be going over that in this video. But first, we do have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. You can check out Apex at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. You get an incredible 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So again, if you're looking for a great Minecraft server for you and your friends to love and enjoy, go check out Apex Minecraft Hosting at the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump right on into this. The first thing we want to do is come to this link. This is going to be the second link in the description down below. And when you go here, it is going to take you to our website, which actually gives you a tutorial on how to download and install Voxel Minimap. The video you're watching right now will replace this video right here. It's been 1.13 was the last time we did a video on this. Blows my mind. But 1.15 is here, and we're going to be replacing that with this video. So nevertheless, come here and go through this tutorial if you would like. But we're going to be going over everything in this video. The main purpose of this tutorial is if I go too fast or you feel like you get stuck on something, you can come here and go through the text tutorial of this and it'll be a lot slower and you can go at your own pace. But nevertheless, once you're here, you want to go in this yellow download voxel minimap button. When you do that, it will take you off to voxel minimap's official download page, as you can see here. So once you're here, you want to come over to the right-hand sidebar, scroll down until you see Minecraft 1.15, and then you will see Fabric voxel map. It is important, extremely important, that you download the fabric version of voxel map. That's what we're installing here, not the Forge version. The Forge version, when I'm recording this, is not out. So you need to download the fabric version of voxel map. So in order to do that, make sure it does say fabric at the beginning, then it'll say voxel map, and then what version, which is for 1.15.1. Once you found that, click on that purple download button right next to it. That will then take you off to a page where your download will begin in just a few short seconds. And then once that download does begin, it will download in the bottom left on Google Chrome and in the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. Now you will need to keep this file on Google Chrome, and as you can see, it does say fabric mod underscore voxel. If it does say that in the title, you're good to keep the file. On Mozilla Firefox, same thing. If it says fabric mod underscore voxel in the title, you are good to save the file on Mozilla Firefox. Now we're not done downloading just yet. We still have two more things to download, the Fabric API and the Fabric Mod Loader. So if you go to the description down below, you will find the Fabric API here. And basically this is the API, right, that is um, used to work everything together and make Voxel Map work with the Fabric Mod Loader, which we're going to be getting here in a second. So to do that, go to the link in the description down below for the Fabric API. It will take you here, just like Voxel Minimap. You want to come over to the right-hand side, scroll down, and then you'll see Fabric API for 1.15.1. Click on that purple download button to the right of it and then it will go ahead and take you off to this page where your download will begin in just a few seconds so there we go boom downloads in the bottom left as you can see it does say fabric api in the title so we're good to go ahead and keep that file Mozilla firefox you'll need to save it in the center of your screen which is safe to do as long as it says fabric api in the title now we need to download one more thing also linked in the description down below is the fabric mod loader and you need the fabric mod loader because that is the mod loader that links everything the fabric api to voxel minimap makes everything work together so nevertheless let's go ahead and get this so to do this you want to go to this link in the description down below it's going to take you here here, where you want to click on installation for vanilla. Once you click on that, it is then safe to just go ahead and click on download installer. You don't need to worry about installer version or anything. Just click on download installer right automatic, automatically and specifically the download installer universal slash dot jar, right? So download installer universal slash dot jar. Click on that and we'll go ahead and download that, of course, in the bottom left. And of course, you will need to keep the file. It is 100% safe safe to keep the file. You can verify it as a fabric installer in the title and it does. So we can go ahead and click keep. And guess what, Mozilla Firefox people? You need to save that in the center of your screen as well. Now we can go ahead and finally minimize our browser. The downloading is done. We have the Fabric Mod Voxel Map, we have the Fabric API, and we have the Fabric Installer here, right? So we're gonna be starting off with the Fabric Installer. To do that, go ahead and right click on it and click on Open With. Wait though, what if these aren't on your desktop? Where are they? If they're not on your desktop, where are they? I'm freaking out, I'm, I'm done, I'm done. If they're not on my desktop, what do I do? No, it's okay, they're in your downloads folder. So let's go ahead and grab those real quick. To do that, click on the little Windows icon. For me, it is in the top left of my screen, but for you, it's probably in the bottom left of your screen. Click on that little Windows icon in the top or bottom left of your screen. Go ahead and type in downloads, right like so. You'll then have this downloads file folder in Windows. Click on that and you will find all of these, the Fabric API, Fabric Mod Loader, everything in here, drag them to your desktop for ease of use. Now we can finally go ahead and right click on the fabric installer, 
click on open with, click on Java TM platform SE binary, and click OK. But what if you don't have Java TM platform SE binary? Or what if you do and you click OK and it just doesn't seem like it's opening? It's not working. What do you do? Well, we've got a solution, of course. In the description down below, you will find our Java tutorial here. This is how to download and install Java for Minecraft mods and servers, but you're installing a Minecraft mod here. So, of course, this is the Java you need. Make sure you get the make sure you get the correct version of Java that you need for all Minecraft mods and things like that. So go through this quick and easy tutorial. There's also a video tutorial if you prefer that. And that'll help you get Java set up and running. Now, if that doesn't work, you're still having issues after you install Java, you need to run the jar fix. And basically what the jar fix is going to do is make all the .jar files on your computer work with Java once again. So if your jar files are like notepad documents or WinRAR files, you can run the jar fix and that will fix that and get everything working with Java once again. So there you have that. That is all in the description down below. We've helped nearly a million people, which blows my mind get Java, get it set up for Minecraft. So that is absolutely awesome. So we go ahead and minimize our browser here. We can finally right click on the Fabric installer, click on open with, click on Java TM platform SE binary and click okay. Then it'll open up the Fabric installer where you don't want to change anything. Assuming that Minecraft version is 1.15.1. If it isn't, you will want to change that to Minecraft 1.15.1. But other than that, go ahead and just click install. As soon as you click install, it'll say done. It's super fast. I don't understand how Fabric installs as fast as it does, but as soon as you click install, it will say done there. We can go ahead and close out of the Fabric installer. Now we want to go ahead and install the Fabric API and the Fabric Voxel Minimap mod right here. So to do that, we want to click again on that little Windows icon. For me, it's in the top left. For you, it is probably in the bottom left of your screen, but click on that little Windows icon in the top or bottom left of your screen. And then when you click on that, go ahead and type in this time, run, are you in? You then have this run app here. Go ahead and click on that. And then there'll be an empty text box in here. And in that text box, you want to type percent sign, APP, DATA, percent sign, percent, app data, percent, and hit enter. This will then go ahead and open up your roaming folder where you'll have a .minecraft folder. Open up that .minecraft folder and you should have a mods folder. But Nick, I don't have a mods folder. What do I do? Don't freak out. It's okay. All you need to do is create one. Right click, create a new folder and title that folder mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. Then open up your newly created mods folder. Then what you want to do is take the fabric API and the voxel map and drag those into your mods folder right like so. As you can see, fabric API, voxel map in the mods folder. We're in the home stretch, everybody. Now all we need to do is open up the Minecraft launcher. Click on this little arrow next to the, mine, the green play button here. Click on the fabric loader and then click on play. However, if you don't have a fabric loader, like profile there, and you can't click on play with that because you don't have the fabric loader, what do you do? Well, no worries. Let's go ahead and click on the installations tab here. And then we want to go ahead and click on the plus new button right here. See, plus new. Click on that, and then you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I naming it that? Because that is our incredible Minecraft network server. We have two awesome grief protected survival servers, medieval survival with over 30 quests, and of course, grief protection and a player based economy. And we have aquatic survival with a slash shop based economy and an incredible player base. It is absolutely incredible and is also grief protected. We do have custom skyblock as well that you will absolutely love with custom custom islands, OP enchantments, slash mine. It, it is amazing. You will love it. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. I'm also going to go ahead and change our resolution to 1080p there. And I'm going to add a little bit more RAM. Adding more RAM isn't required. It's just something I like to do. Now we can go ahead and click the create button down here in the bottom right. And then finally, you'll have the profile you created. In our case, play.breakdowncraft.com here. Oh, I actually forgot to do something. That's a fail. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the three arrows here and click on edit. What we want to then do is click on the version drop down box here, right? See this drop down box under version? Then you'll have fabric loader and then 1.15.1 here. That's a fail on my part. I do apologize about that. But here we go. We do have release fabric loader. Click on that in version. That's literally the most important part. And then go ahead and click save. Now confirm on the profile you created, in our case, play.breakdowncraft.com, that it does say fabric dash loader and then 1.15 under it. If it does, come over here and click on that green play button. Now Minecraft 1.15.1 is going to open up with a mini map installed in it. Pretty simple overall. I just go through a lot of the different problems that people can have. Most likely, you didn't have any of those problems and you're already in game enjoying your mini map. Otherwise, you now know how to fix tons and tons of other problems. Now, one problem that you could have is it could lock, lock up 
in the loading process here. It doesn't look like it's going to for me. Yeah, we're fine. But if it does lock up, no worries. Just close out of the Minecraft here and then load it back up again. Like nothing happened. Like it didn't crash at all and it will work. So here we are. If we go ahead and click on multiplayer, I'm going to join in to the best Minecraft server and join the 102 people that are online right now and uh, show off this awesome mini map. So we're going to be in medieval survival here when we join in and this is going to be an awesome time. So once we join in, joining world, loading terrain, there we go. As you can see, we do have all of the stuff with the mini-map here right up. So we can zoom in and out with Z, and then we can do the map options with M. As you can see, here's our medieval survival world. We do have the incredible castle here going down into spawn there. Awesome stuff. We can also set up waypoints. So as you can see, there's all of these different waypoints here. We can add in a new waypoint. We can make this a spawn waypoint if we wanted to. And then we could also do something like a slash shop, which is our public marketplace here and we can add in a waypoint here if we wanted look at how awesome that looks too there's over six custom worlds by the way custom areas like this in breakdown craft medieval survival but we can go ahead and do this as the shop so now we click done there click done click done again we can see that spawn is over there we have the shop marked here and uh, pretty cool stuff there as we move around the map will expand and grow and add more things to it so if we go ahead and hit M again we can see that it is adding more stuff and we can even if we go where's where's spawn gonna be from here so if we go over here we'll be able to see that spawn is right over there so pretty cool stuff and if you were to like run between these, you can connect them. Overall, really, really fun and really, really awesome. You can also come into waypoints and edit them and change them and move them and do all sorts of awesome stuff, including change their colors and things. So yeah, there's also the options tab here where you can hide the mini map on and off. If you hide the mini map, it does turn on your coordinates up there. You can turn off your coordinates by clicking that. You can change the size of the mini map, extra large, XXL, small, it's all there. However you want to do it, you can do that. You can change the map from square to circle. I personally prefer the circle one, whether it's rotating or always looking north and in-game waypoints, whether they're signs, both, whatever they are, you can change that there. So pretty cool stuff. And overall, an awesome, awesome way to just get a mini map in Minecraft. Absolutely love it. And can't wait to see you on our incredible server here, play.breakdowncraft.com. Over 100 people online right now. Come join us and uh, have an awesome time. Yeah, can't wait to see you online. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Thank you all so, so much for watching, and I am out. Peace.